Onk Live Insights is a video editorial program produced by Onk Live. I think the um, multidisciplinary team is really key in deciding which is the optimal treatment for patients with um, cancer disease in general and um, specifically um, also for patients with metastatic colorectal cancer. Here we find the um, surgeons, the um, diagnostic radiologists, the gastroenterologists, the medical oncologists, so the whole team who, which is specialized um, really on the disease and um, in common we make a common good decision in favor of the patient. So in my view the multidisciplinary team is in fact the most important quality, quality assuring instrument um, in a comprehensive cancer center. The question if liver metastases are in fact resectable um, are mainly discussed by the multidisciplinary team. Um, here the most important role has the diagnostic radiologist and the surgeon in my view. The surgeon needs to determine if liver metastases are apparent in one liver lobe or in both and if um, the location is such that he can um, resect um, the metastases um, without damaging the liver too much. So location means if you have a central metastasis or a metastasis which is adjacent to an important vessel or more vessels, you have um, problems that you possibly cannot resect. Um, very often we decide to um, start with induction chemotherapy um, to reduce the volume of metastases and to also see the biologic uh, behavior of these metastases and then to um, after let's say two months to bring that patient with new imaging again into the MDT and then we decide on resectability again. So what I can say at the moment is that um, surgical resection is certainly the most important goal in a patient with liver metastasis. Um, a while ago we said that extrahepatic um, metastasis would preclude liver resection. Nowadays we don't think that anymore and if we have resectable disease in the liver in most cases we would also go for resection if that patient can tolerate resection because we think the liver metastasis is probably the life determining um, disease um, in a metastatic cancer disease. With the contemporary management of metastatic colorectal carcinoma, everything has to begin with a reference point, which is the multidisciplinary tumor board or multidisciplinary board. This generally consists of experts bringing their best game forward uh, and looking at the management of liver metastases as truly a team sport. So no individual really has the most effective tool in every situation, but every individual, every specialist has something to bring and to bring their best game forward. This is really translate in, it's translated into a paradigm shift in terms of patient management and benefit for as a result of these types of discussions, critical decisions with respect to the use of yttrium-90 resin microspheres, surgical resection, and chemotherapeutic regimens can really be adjudicated from a panel of experts and physician stakeholders that are involved in the patient's care and the patient's journey. As an interventional radiologist, it is critical to really uh, be able to have these discussions in the setting of multidisciplinary care to not only identify patients that may benefit from yttrium-90 resin microspheres, but also be able to guide the sequencing of events that may lead them to this type of therapy. When a patient with metastatic disease presents to my clinic, especially in a situation where the disease is limited to the liver or with minimal extrahepatic disease that can also be resected. That patient has to be discussed on a multidisciplinary clinic setting. The question is going to be, when do we perform surgery? What type of chemotherapy do I give this patient prior to surgery? And is there a role for other strategies in the management of this patient between regional therapy to the liver, versus radiofrequency ablation versus focal radiation techniques.